Okay, um, you're looking for a size 13 and a 12. Okay, I think I have that um, in the Tailwind and the Blazer for you. Uh, so back in uh, middle school, I, you know, I really liked um, basketball and you know basketball shoes all surrounding that. And you know, I every time you know you go to the store and stuff, and you know all those shoes are you know two three hundred dollars and you know, just not really affordable for, you know, most people. So um, I, you know, kind of had an idea after seeing some other people selling shoes. And, um, you know, back then I started and I bought, you know, a pair or two online and, uh, you know, it didn't really go well. I mean, I was excited when I got it, you know, being able to see it and, you know, hold it and know that, you know, that was mine. But um, it took me, you know, a few months to, sell those pairs and I didn't make any money on it but I did you know start to kind of see the process and since I'd spent so much time looking for myself I kind of had a good idea of how much things you know should cost and you know knew when I saw a good deal so uh, I tried buying you know a few individual things off there and um, bought in bulk a little bit from some shops and you know after that I slowly started to see a little bit more success um, you know selling the used shoes and so I built up a relationship with a shop in Milwaukee that you know, kind of did the same thing I did, um, but with the storefront. And then they, you know, every week or two would sell me all their old inventory that they couldn't sell on there. And then I would take it and put it online. And so really that um, and another relationship in Milwaukee for me kind of, you know, boosted what I was doing. And, you know, pretty quick after that, you know, went from, you know, one to two pairs up to, you know, 20, 30. And, you know, at that point I was starting to make some more money. So, um, you know, then just gave me a lot more flexibility to, you know, start buying more stuff and, you know, being able to get more in bulk. And so really that's kind of how I, you know, started to expand the used shoes, um, you know, and really, you know, built that up. And so after selling used shoes for a while, I kind of, you know, after seeing other people doing things, I really wanted to figure out how to, you know, get into the new shoes and be able to start um, selling stuff a bit quicker. So at that point, um, about a year ago, I discovered um, a group that, kind of gave opportunities um, to find new shoes from retail shops across the country. And so I started kind of going into that and that really helped me um, start to be able to buy a lot of shoes and move through them quicker. I was able to acquire a lot of shoes and um, start selling more new stuff and kind of move on from the old um, shoes. And so, you know, with that, you know, gave some better opportunities because I could find, you know, shoes at a lot of different price ranges, you know, maybe starting at, you know, $60, $70 up to five grand. And, um, you know, that just helped me really expand, um, you know, with that and start moving a lot more shoes. So after doing the shoes for a while, um, you know, and kind of looking around, seeing what else I could do, I, you know, discovered some people who, you know, were selling some clothes. And so, um, you know, online I found, um, you know, I found these pants and I liked how, you know, I liked the design and, you know, could kind of see them as a, you know, good basic kind of everyday, um, you know, pair of pants for people. Um, and so I started out buying, you know, maybe 20 to 30 pairs of these um, in different colors and listed them on a clothing website that I had previously used for myself. And so then, you know, after maybe a month or so, um, you know, the pants really started to take off. Um, you know, I started taking better pictures, you know, and modeling them and, you know, doing all that stuff kind of for them. And, you know, then after, you know, the success of that and, you know, it's really been consistent um, sales with those for, you know, three, four months now, I, you know, have tried to start um, designing some of my own products, you know, and getting that made, um, you know, because some of this stuff, you know, you can buy direct, but it's a lot more expensive, you know, when you're buying, you know, 50, 100 pieces of something, you know, pre-made versus, um, you know, when you can manufacture your own thing and, you know, buy it in the thousands. So, you know, when I go through the process of designing something, you know, normally it starts with, uh, you know, price with the uh, manufacturer. And, you know, once you kind of get something worked out, um, you know, I normally start sending them design. So, you know, I knew I wanted to have a fleece um, like that, so I kind of showed them some stuff that I liked, um, you know, and they gave me some options. So, you know, I wanted it to be, you know, um, snaps. You know, I don't like the zipper look as much. So, um, you know, and then this is kind of a nylon um, on here. 
and then they kind of wrap that on the cuffs, um, you know, along the bottom too. So, um, you know, I kind of wanted to, you know, have some different colors on it. Um, you know, I offer these in, you know, multiple colors, but, you know, normally with them, you know, you go from the price kind of, and, you know, once that's worked out, you know, kind of get into the specifics and, you know, they normally, um, you know, once you're kind of in the process, they'll go to a, you know, market in town or something and, you know, send you a lot of pictures of, you know, your different choices for materials and things they can do. And then, you know, sometimes they kind of draw it up on a, you know, board for, you know, all the details and stuff like that. And, um, you know, normally I'll make a few as well, kind of show you, you know, everything about it. And then, you know, I'll, you know, talk with them and confirm or, you know, if I want to change. So, you know, the guy first, um, when he made these, he actually made it with a zipper and, you know, showed me and I said, you know, uh, you know, let's change it to the buttons. You know, I don't like that look, look as much. So, um, you know, you kind of got to make a little bit of changes, um, you know, with that too, um, in the process. And so, you know, then with this, um, you know, I really had the idea it started with, um, you know, my dad had a jacket that he's had for a while. Um, you know, it's a similar style like this and, you know, I really love the jacket, um, you know, and just uh, like the design of it. So, you know, I thought, well, why not, you know, let's try and make one of my own. So I, you know, contacted um, one of the manufacturers, um, you know, they had a, actually when I was looking, you know, I was trying to make some other items from them and they had a, you know, similar leather product. Um, you know, I really liked the look. So, you know, that kind of started asking questions, you know, about leather goods with them. Um, and so, you know, I really wanted then to try and make this. Um, so this is just a sample version I have, um, but you know, the quality on it, you know, was really good. I've been really happy with it. So, um, you know, it's lined a little bit, so it's warmer. Um, you know, the stitching, stitching I'm really happy with too. Um, so, you know, this I kind of based off a little bit, um, you know, with my dad's jacket. And so kind of trying to make, um, you know, some other colors in it, you know, and just give the buyer some other options, but, um, you know, I've been really happy with, you know, how it's made and, you know, the quality on all of it. Um, and then around a similar time when I found the cargo pants, you know, when I was looking at stuff like that, um, I came across electric guitars. And so, um, you know, I used to play guitar, you know, maybe four or five years ago, and I kind of understood, um, you know, the thought process of people trying to, you know, find a really nice guitar at an affordable price because, you know, a lot of the, you know, manufacturers are charging, you know, a couple thousand dollars for a, you know, new guitar. And so I, you know, started off again buying, you know, a few of these. Um, I listed them on a few different sites and, um, you know, at the price point, I, you know, took a chance and, you know, wanted to see what I could do. And so, you know, I sold them all, you know, within a month and received some pretty positive feedback. So after that, I purchased 50 of them and, you know, started to kind of design some colors myself and, you know, make some really custom made, um, you know, designs on them. So, you know, after that, um, you know, I got that shipment in and thought that was kind of going to be the, you know, moment of truth of, you know, people really would still be interested in these and I could, you know, start selling them at a, you know, faster pace. And so, then, you know, around Christmas time and, you know, after that I sold, you know, all those, you know, pretty quickly and, you know, was really happy with the responses I got and had a lot of repeat customers with them. So, um, you know, I just placed another order and I'm waiting on those, but, you know, I'm pretty excited for, you know, where this can go and I hopefully will be able to start branding them uh, pretty soon, you know, with my own label and, you know, kind of see where I can take this and, you know, expand with some other models. And my hopes for this going forward is, you know, I really want to keep working, um, you know, within the clothes and guitars, um, you know, really kind of see what I can do designing and, you know, start to build a brand with it. Um, didn't want to have to go to college, um, you know, if I didn't have to, I really wanted to be able to, you know, have a more flexible schedule and, you know, be able to work for myself if possible. So, you know, I really enjoy um, being able to kind of work with the customers and, you know, communicate with that and, you know, work on making sales with that, I, you know, see how far I can take it. Um, you know, just being able to, you know, design stuff and really make it out of nothing, you know, is, you know, um, you know, I just think that's really cool. So, you know, I just like to see how far I can take that, you know, and really try and build it up.